Hey party people, it's me. Today I wanna to talk about how to get your husband to communicate with you more. This is for my wives out there. You need to hush. Hushing is an anointing. I have to blink real slow so you'll get the soulfulness of what I'm saying. But you gotta hush in real life, okay? I didn't know this when I was newly married, y'all, so I'm gonna give you some of the things I bumbled over while I was uh, freshly married. And learning how to hush was one of them. Because in my family, everybody just talk. We talk over each other. We talk in between each other. When you take a breath, we jump in. And it worked perfectly fine. But that origin did not work when I got married, okay? So sometimes it's your point of origin. Sometimes it's just because you didn't know any better. And I thank God for my husband because he really taught me and helped me and worked with me. But you need to hush if you want your husband to speak more, okay? And this is not every woman, but a good majority of us, you know, women have about um, three times as many words as men. And when we come from work, we still have words left over. Most of the time men don't. Uh, one of the things I used to do was when he said something, I always had something to say, whether it was a comment or the way I would do it or just all this unnecessary feedback. He doesn't need your unnecessary feedback. Let him say what he says and leave it. His silence is not a break for you to speak. Shh. If you want him to talk more. Shh. Okay. Another thing. Don't cut the man off. Let him finish what he said. I, girl, I used to do this. I'm, Jesus done blessed my life, honey. Grace. He just gave me grace. Hallelujah. Don't cut the man off when he is speaking. Let him talk. Stop interrupting. Do not take over his story with your story. He comes in. He says, I have a hard day. I had a hard day too. Guess what Jenny did? And guess what Sarah did? And guess what Felicia? He don't, he, he don't want to know. Men do not want to know. They don't want to know the details. It's not harsh. He just does not want to know. Okay, so save that for your girl, Keisha. Okay, tell Keisha about what happened at work. When your husband comes home and says he had a hard day, I want you to do this. Acknowledge it. Okay, so either you can nod, you know, you can bend your eyebrows in, look real concerned. Mm. You can say, mm, really? For real? Say it ain't so. Clutch my pearls. Any of those will work, okay? But let the man talk. Sometimes men take a minute to process, so when he takes that breather, shh, hush, don't jump in there. Take that, let him have it, let him have it. The other thing is when you interrupt, it's a way of telling anybody that what they have to say is not important or what you have to say is more important or I'm bored, so let's change the subject. So think of all the nonverbal things you're communicating to your spouse when you interrupt, when you take over a story, when you cut them off, when you don't allow them to communicate, and also you're training him not to talk to you more. And what we wanna to do to build intimacy into our marriages is we want our spouses to talk to us. We wanna talk and have intimate conversation. I know for a lot of women, we long for that intimate conversation to go back and forth and dialogue. Well, the dialogue happens by us hushing, so he can get out what he's saying. And as you do that over time, you'll find this nice flow of create of conversation happening. The other thing I want to say is, um, if you need help with this, pray about it. Just pray, Lord, help me to be discerning of when I'm taking over a story, when I'm interrupting, when I'm not listening, because that's really what is not, it's, it's not listening. You're just not an attentive listener. And as much as some of us like to think we're a good listener because we're joining in your story, that is not listening. <laughs> All right. So take pauses and breaks and allow them to speak. Pray about it if this is something you really, really struggle with. The other thing is you can ask your husband's opinion after how well you listen. Now, don't go get no attitude when he tell you the truth. When he tell you, girl, you be doing the most. Don't, don't get all quiet and soak. Well, I just won't say nothing. I know them little games you play. Don't let the devil play them little games in your marriage. Don't, don't let it go there. And I just won't say nothing. See how he like it when it's all quiet around the house. I know how we do. Shh, hush, hush that thought. That's a wrong thought. So anyways, you pray about it. Don't soak when he tells you the truth. Just take it in, process it, and pray about doing better, okay? And then um, the other thing I want you to do is just... Uh, know that it's worth listening to know that this is going to really build up your marriage but this is a quick little tip on how you can get your husband to communicate with you more fall more in love and have a strong marriage game girl Woo. you know we all up into that all right i love you lambs bye bye